Hello and welcome to the LDM show. And this is Thursday evening. Well, uh, I gotta stop. First of all, I gotta stop saying Thursday evening because sometimes when they hear it on the, the radio station or they see it in Bronx Net, Bronx Net is on Monday. They're gonna, I'm gonna confuse an old person. Not only that, but if they live in the West Coast, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Not it's evening, not Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna confuse people. <laughs> but anyway, it's another week. That's it. Okay. I'm gonna right. start my show next week. So, uh, start saying it's another week here at the LDM show. But on my right hand side, on my left hand side, your right <laughs> is I am your karma. She's a two time nominee. Uh, you know her from R and R show. And now she has her own show coming up, House of Karma, where she's going to be, uh, protest, uh, not protesting, but showcasing a bunch of artists and they're going to be all performing. It's going to be like a little mini concert plus a interview, yeah. I guess, right? Absolutely, you hit it We're right hey, on the nose. Just want to make sure I got it all right. Uh, and her is going to be live on Wednesdays on Facebook, so check that out. Uh, 8 p.m. every Wednesday, starting March what? March uh, 6th. 6th. Only here on the LDM yep. Network. Yep, you got to log on to the LDM Network Facebook and uh, get to see her live. Um, yeah, are we good? Make sure we're not blurry in the, in the camera or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and yeah, we got a new person in the background, so I gotta make sure everything She's doing is doing right. a great job. Lighting and everything. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just so used to being in the other side, and I gotta make sure, you know, everybody's seeing this me. This is right. the time where you wish you could clone yourself, record yourself while you're over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to make sure that but everything is correct. Clothes, but, uh, anyway, uh, Valentine's is, uh, coming up. In a couple of days, if you're watching this on um, Facebook, it's actually three more. Da- I mean, on uh, BronxNet, it's actually three more days left to go to Valentine's. So um, I want to jump into what I used to jump into before was called Love Corner, when you uh, have the difference be- between a male and a female's point of view. So the first thing I wanted um, to do was talk about a video uh, that I'm going to show in a few minutes. So. The video basically is hanging out with a girl, but the girl's the best friend. And he went to go buy something. And she assumed that he was going to buy her something. Oh, yeah. I remember that video. (laughs) But here's the video. Okay. In that second order, you want some to eat? Yeah, babe. You you got money? No. Don't worry, I got you. You, That's it for the second order. That's okay. I'm going to cancel that. Wait, hold on. What's it? That's... You for real? I ain't gonna take one Thank you. You for real? What happened? You not gonna give me nothing to eat for real? Nah, man. Y- y- y'all be having this confused. You said we friends. Like, now you ain't my bae. Like, nah, we cool and all, man. But you know what I'm saying? You got your own money. I seen you at the club last night. Anyway, don't fucking. Nah, bro. Mm-mm. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch you eat. Hey, you ain't gotta watch me close your eyes, go to sleep or whatever, man. But I ain't going for it. Y'all already be, you know what I'm saying, doing my homeboy dirty, taking Miami trips, uh, going to girls, get your nails and eyebrows done, which your eyebrows still don't even be ready, man. But still, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, you, you balling off my homeboy for one. I mean, I'm cool with you and all, but I ain't, nah, bro. You ain't getting both of us. You can get him, but I'm not going for it. So you telling all me. All my life I had to fight. And I'm not for the fight for to keep my money in my pocket for you to eat. And you got money right now. No, nah, man. It ain't working like that. I'm sorry. You, we friends, though. That's what friends do. I look out for you. I looked out. You said you was hungry and you ain't had no money. So I stopped you from, you know what I'm saying, getting your hopes up. Nah, bro. Mm-mm. So you telling me. You for real. What you thought? I'm saying, man, like, nah, I can't do this. You, you ain't getting no food out of me, man. Nah, I'm good. And good, love. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm good, love. Enjoy. <laughs> and that stuff, ain't it? I know, man. Got it, though. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you just watched that video right now. Uh, He was, like, I, I love the part because he he, he tells the, the drive through, yeah that's what. And then he looks at the girl. What are you ordering? Well, like, you want something? You got money? Yeah, that'll be all. <laughs> you got money? Yeah, that'll be all. She was she was pissed though. Like, but that's her friend, and he was like, "We're just friends." I I think that's more to the story though. I think that he was trying to kick it to yeah, her, make a point, and yeah. then she was like, "No, we're just friends." So he made that point. Right. Was he wrong or was he or was he I right? I mean, 
I don't. I always feel like whoever invites should pay. So like, if I invite you to eat, you you shouldn't have to worry about. Oh, I don't have enough money. Yeah, I don't think he invited her though. I think they were just chilling. But if you were hanging out and hey, I'm gonna go to McDonald's. Yeah, that means I'm going to McDonald's. See, y'all girls automatically assumed. I mean, it's not, he's not obligated to get her anything, but as a female lady, 2019, walk around with your own cash in your pocket because these boys. Nah, nah, y'all wanna be, here we go again, y'all wanna be equal. Well then, equally pay your own um, um <laughs> thing. That's all I gotta say. I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. I've gone half. You know what I mean? It's, it's not. I don't think there's anything wrong with going fifty fifty. But you know, sometimes you don't have money, and like, if I know that I want to go somewhere and I want your company, and I'm inviting you, like I should invite you if I know that I got both of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but uh, but at the same time, if you don't have your own, you shouldn't go. Yeah, That's how I look at it. I, but she was like really, really like pissed because he didn't buy her something, and he said, "You're not my girl." Like you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's also a double standard because what is really like the type of relationship do they have? Like, are they just friends? That's why I said I think there's benefits? more. I think he was are trying they... to kick it to her, and she probably told him, "No, we we're only can friends. be friends." Yeah. So that he made a like, point. Well, yeah. we're just friends. Pay for your own stuff. You know what I'm saying? And he said, you do it to the other one, not to me. So that means that he, she be playing the other guy for his food well, and his money and don't give her none. Right. Give her, well, give I him think, none. I think <laughs> the problem with a lot of females is they don't know how to be independent. They're so used to, you know, the, the standard of, oh, you gotta have a knight in shiny armor. This guy is gonna, it has to sweep you off your feet. It has to do everything for you. You don't gotta lift a finger. And that's not reality because in our reality, it takes both partners to make a relationship work. One partner can't be doing everything while the other partner is not doing anything. Well, especially now because y'all women want to be liberal. Y'all want to be 100% equal. Um, but then in some cases, y'all don't. But In some things, I think we should be equal because we're doing the same See, but you can't say some things. You got to say all or nothing. No, because it's... It, okay, so if a female is working construction, she should get paid the same amount of money as the male doing construction if she's doing the same type of work. If she's doing okay. the same type of work, yeah. Um, But it shouldn't be like, oh. But if she's only hammering and this guy is here doing the iron and the crane and they make $25 an hour, she ain't going to make $25 no, an hour. No, absolutely. It's a, it's if you want to make it, you got to work on it's that department. Work. But if we're doing the same thing, you know. And with that said, construction workers, if she is working in the iron, let her lift it up herself because she, she, no, no. Talking about, I can't lift and want to take her butt out. Well, but, then learn because you're making the same amount of money. But this those are equal. not the type of females that work. In I know, that's true. That's though. true. They, they know high heels. That's a porno. No, that's that, a, you know, <laughs> those type of females that working in construction are like the, manly man, the yeah. females that could do that. That's why I say that we, females can pretty much do the same thing that uh, to a certain standard that men can do. To a certain standard, because at the end of the day, men are men. You know, you, we're built different, and there's certain things that, you know, that men are just better at. There's certain things females are better at. And then there's there's and, that and yeah, thing. vice versa. Um, yeah, y'all better that. y'all better off. Um, you know, by giving birth because we never had that practice yet. So y'all experts in that. Um, so I give you that one. Um. How you call it? Uh, tricking the person's mind. Y'all good with that? Well, there's some guys that are really good conniving and they're charmers and they know how to milk females. You know what well, I mean? Well, to a and point it's not because that the female is desperate. Sometimes it's not that the female is desperate. Sometimes it's just she really fell in love with this guy. And she really believed that he. No, nah, that was called her. desperados. No, sometimes Listen, they, let, let me let me explain something. A guy. Why? How you call those uh guys? Um, chamismo. Um, I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, the ones that are slick, that, that are trying to get the girls, uh, like a Playboy type of thing. They go and they, their marks are the low self-esteem and desperate females. They can see and they can smell a low self-esteem and desperate um, female. Low okay. self-esteem and desperate, they pretty much go the same because they so much want to fall in love that they think they're in love. That, they're not in love. They just want to be in love with that person, and that's why these playboys know how to uh, do it. But then the girls are very smart in that same sense of way. 
they use their bodies and their stuff to get what they want, and the guys be like, yeah, yeah. Especially the other ugly ones. I'm sorry. You got, you ugly guys, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it right too. You ugly guys that are, got these beautiful girls, sometimes I got to question those things. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hmm, what you got? You got money? You got a house? She, she's poor? She don't got nothing? He you might know? just have a golden ticket. <laughs> maybe, maybe, you know? maybe, yeah, maybe they the hit that ugly, golden buzzard or I'm something. I'm saying, if you ugly, you might be ugly on the outside, but you still got something that makes that female want to come back. Yeah, but <laughs> how, how did that female find out first? He had to have something else to show, like money, yeah. house, or something. Because yeah. he wasn't walking around like he was in Africa talking about boonkele, kele, boonkele. He wasn't, you know what I'm saying? He, so there has to be That's something because I know when the guy was but, coming towards a girl, she was like, oh, my no, God, but the, but look at this ugly guy. But, girl, he's rich. Oh, I know. He looks good, too, you but know? But you know what? Sometimes that ugly guy... Could be the one that's listening to the female when she's talking about her He has problem. no choice. He could be, he's probably the one that's there, you know what I mean? Because he, not for nothing, but like, and I know that this sounds kind of shallow, but like if you're not really that ki- good to look at right. the outside, women tend to feel more comfortable. Talking you know to what I mean? yeah. Talking to them because it's not like. But that's when like you enter the friend zone. There's a lot of friend zone that's ugly people. Happens. But when you, when, <laughs> but if you're, Ugly and have that self confidence, that personality, yeah. that can bring that then out. You, that can make you look like the cutest guy in the world. Yeah. I mean, because I'm sorry, I love Beyonce and everything, but there's no yeah, amount yeah. of money. Drugs, well, that obviously alcohol. there is. There's a lot of money that she had over Jay Z. But and I'm stuff. just saying, but she, but she was with him when he was kind of poor. Um, they knew each other when he was poor, so. But this is what I'm saying. But he had that thing that made <laughs> want to come back. Yeah, but like so, I said, he wasn't swinging free. There was because no, but some of the ugly ones, it. yeah, girl, some of the ugly talk. ones, uh, they get the girl because they probably be in the group, and the girl was not actually wanting to try to talk to him. But when they in the group, they start, they should be like, "This guy is kind of funny," you and know, alcohol, little by little. And alcohol, and then alcohol is a hell yeah. of a drug too. <laughs> yeah. Alcohol can that, shift your whole, <laughs> can shift a, a person's whole like. Listen, what well, you don't, like, you don't, you don't like need that, that, uh, how they call those, those people. No, 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 the, the, the people that be with you to try to hook it up, to hook you up. Um, the wingman. You don't need a wingman when you got alcohol. You got the wing, wing drink. There you go. Here goes the wing drink. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Because some. Okay, now we can talk. <laughs> I am so tired of this mother. That's when the ugly guy comes in. Oh, I can help you. Let me talk to you. Like you know, that's my ugly. That's my ugly voice. That's my ugly voice. Like, hey. <laughs> how you doing? Some of those. <laughs> if you can put a face, <laughs> if you can put a voice behind. The, but by, behind, behind that face. <laughs> I, I don't know, but uh, you know it ha- But that's the same thing with you see a guy. He could be really, really handsome, and then you see his girl, and you're like, "There's no way that's his girl." You know he's cheating on her, and that guy mm-hmm. could be like the oh, most yeah, loyal, especially. most faithful man. But you know, you know what? Something when it comes to it's standard, because when it comes to a, a handsome looking guy, and he's going out with an ugly looking girl, sometimes he'd be like, "Because I know she's gonna stay with me, and she's gonna be faithful." You know, who else is she going to get? She can't get all of this with some ugly ass no, guy. That's so true. I think that's the, it's but like that, a double but then, standard. But then there's also some really good men out there that just love their woman. And yeah. for somebody else that she might not be all that, but to him, she might be like the most beautiful woman oh God, in the yeah, world. Yeah. Because Cause I hate these pretty boy, she, pretty boy guys with the pretty girl, um, models type looking. I'm like, y'all both too pretty for your damn selves. That's what happens. Fighting. That's why they got two bathrooms, cause they be fighting for the damn mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. But that's really, that happens with females too. You know, sometimes you see a really beautiful woman and her man is, and you think, oh, she could do better, but that man is providing and doing everything, everything. that somebody else wouldn't do for her. You know yeah. what I mean? So, because I tell you this much, if you're ugly and you're rich, Go with, don't, don't say you're rich. Just try to go with your ugliness first. I, I know there's a lot of ugly people right now watching black. Like, that's not right. You know what I'm saying? That, that's my ugly face. That voice? <laughs> that's the ugly voice face. But, um, no, but I'm just saying like, go and don't say you're rich. 
Go with regular clothes and stuff, and see if you get that pretty girl that you were watching. Then come back and say, wow, you know I'm rich now? I, I'm like $3 million worth. And let me see if that girl starts talking to you. If she does, then you know she's a gold digger. There's actually a video out there where this guy comes in an Uber and talking about, oh, I don't got, I don't got no change. Excuse me, can you give me some change? She was like, she was, and she was a model. She was like, huh, whatever. He was like, oh, I was just trying to get a ride. I didn't even can't get a ride going home. Then like five minutes later, he comes back in the, um, the Lamborghini. And she was looking at the Lamborghini, searching it. The doors open up and the guy came around and opened the door for him. And he was like, oh, oh, chillax. And she was like looking at him. So he said, hi, how you doing? She was like, oh, I'm doing good. Or kuleka and stuff, meaning oh, uh, flirty. And, flirty. And, and then all of a sudden he was like, yeah, you don't remember me, right? She was like, no. She was like, that's good because I asked you for some money for the Uber, but you wanted to ride on my car now? Ride the other way, bitch. And he just kept and, on going. And that's, unfortunately, that's a lot. There's too many materialistic people, people out there out in the there. world. That, and this is the reason why they're never happy because you're too busy looking for things that it should be should, free. Yeah. The things that, that really matter that make a, per, a relationship work that makes a person happy is free. You don't have to do n- nothing. Yeah. Well, well, that's you true. You gotta vibe with it's all about how you vibe with somebody. Do you vibe with somebody? I, I think no. the best thing. You can't is, force it. Though. I think the best things are the memories, not the uh, the materials thing. But uh, we're gonna come right back since you were talking about free. We're gonna be talking about stuff for Valentine's. Well, I posted up something about what was your worst Valentine's gift. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that when we come right back. Radio station in the world. In the world. Is right here. Right now. LDM Radio. Hello and welcome back to the LDM show. And again, I'm here with I'm Your Karma. And we're just having a little blast talking about uh, women and men stuff. So, like I said, uh, a couple days ago, I put on my uh, personal page, what was the worst Valentine's gift you ever got? Um... Me, I don't even remember. Because guys don't really get Valentine's gifts. That's messed up. That let's let's start up. right there. <laughs> how many guys? Do you, how many guys out there would not want maybe flowers or chocolate? Me, no. Uh, I'm I'm one of those people. Especially if I'm with somebody, I get mad when they spend money on stuff like that. I'm like, uh, <sighs> why you bring me flowers for? Yeah. Oh, because it shows I love you. You showed me that yesterday and last night. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ugly voice That's again. The ugly voice. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's, she's looking good. ugly, spending my damn money. <laughs> spending the money makes you look ugly, okay? But the girls, I don't know why y'all... I, no, receiving <laughs> stuff for Valentine's. Honestly, females, let me, let me start right here where if you only have a male that only gives it to, to you on Valentine's, like, not give it to you. That sounded sexual. I but, uh, like, yeah, <laughs> give you stuff. I'm showing my own. Only. <laughs> Give you stuff only on Valentine's Day, then something's wrong with that. Um, Valentine's Day shouldn't, they should just erase Valentine's Day, period. I agree. I feel like Valentine's Day is just another day to go to the, spend money that you don't have. And then it's like, if you don't, let's say you don't get paid that day. You know what I mean? Now you're looking, you're looking bad because you didn't bring your significant other something, something on yeah. that day. Like, and then I'll be like, I didn't get my check didn't come today, so I couldn't really get you something. And that's when the girl be like, what you mean? You didn't get paid the last week? You could have brought something then, but you wasn't thinking about me, right? Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's when you're going to be like, oh, there you go. <laughs> I feel like it's like a double standard too, because men are expected to like propose to their woman on this day or, See, you know, see, that, that, that's too much pressure. See, yeah, it's y'all, too much pre- pressure. y'all putting I pressure agree. on us. I agree. I don't Woo. think that it should. That therapy now we have to go to and everything. <laughs> all right. Look, in my case, right, like my man has everything already. And not only does he have everything, he has expensive, really expensive taste. I, I can't afford. I got kids. You know what I mean? So it's like, what can I give somebody who I can't afford? Nothing but my mm. love. <laughs> like I'll cook you dinner. 
<laughs> you and cooked this last week, but this one was special. It was made out of love. But the thing, was, the thing <laughs> is, like, he cooks better than me. He dresses better than me. He sings better than me. Like, Every, he does everything better than me. Like, why can't I get somebody who's already winning? Like, you're winning already. Like, mm. now it's my turn. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I don't know. How many of y'all believe that Valentine? And I know all the girls are going to party and be like, did you? no, did you? no. Guys, I know y'all going to say, yeah, because y'all don't want to spend that money. What I'm saying is Valentine should be eliminated because you should show that all year round. Every single Like, once day, in a while, Valentine's just day. throw a little flower. Exactly, for no reason. Just cause. What reminder? No, there ain't no reminder. And this is, uh, see, That's the engineer want to talk in the background again. The engineer said. Oh. Damn. <laughs> yeah. I said, some people need reminders. Cause you're not always lovey dovey with your partner every day. No, you're not. But once in a while, it takes 360 days a year, not 365, cause you need a five day week. <laughs> to take a break, but all the rest of the times you could just throw like the uh yesterday I got um uh sushi, but a hell of it just put it in the refrigerator, didn't say nothing until they opened the refrigerator. Oh my God, sushi! Ah, all wet. I know. But anyway, um, my my boyfriend does it to me all the time. He'll just buy me random stuff that yeah, I like. But that's what I'm saying. You don't need Valentine's Maybe. for that. So Valentine's, if you're bringing all this uh flowers, so you. An idiot the whole uh, year, but that one day you want to apologize with some chocolates and. Well, what happens if your birthday falls the day after Valentine's? <laughs> well, then you wait till the day after Valentine's <laughs> to give it to them. You know. <laughs> but, but if there's no like, more Valentine's, then you won't worry about the day after Valentine's. I just think all these holidays, period, they're just made to make us spend money so we can make the the economy grow it's not really no like who's to say that on this day you know is the day that we have to celebrate this like just like birthdays well, well birthdays, birthdays yeah you know but but like holiday like christmas yeah. and easter and yeah they definitely if gotta eliminate get rid of that. one you gotta eliminate all of them no 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 <laughs> just eliminate the ones that don't make no sense valentine's do not make no sense to me to show your love for one day you know what i'm saying mother's day Again. What? Father's Day. Woo, That's another what? one. No, see, there should be a Father's Day. No, like, no. There should be a you Father's Day. You gotta be a father 365 days a year. You don't need one day yeah. to say that you're a father. But you know why they do it? Because there's- Because there ain't no fathers. Have, exactly. There ain't that many fathers y'all out there. Y'all lucky y'all even have a Father's Day. If it was up to me, y'all wouldn't even have that. But because of the last, the little good, the few good men out there, no. I give them that because there are a few good men out See, there but, that actually take but care of their Mother's kids. Day, I take that back because Mother's Day and Father's Day is not really a big commercial day. If you notice that. It's not, they don't show it out there. I mean, They're they not do, a month, but it's a month before like, the, uh, Mother's Day. They have it in the, in the stores. They don't do that. They do it like a week before. They don't go hard yeah. as, like they do for Valentine's but Day. Valentine's, that's a, 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 a spending money holiday that you don't need. How was Christmas? Nah, Christmas is for the kids, though. Yeah, but at the end of the day, like, I feel like this is how I That's feel. a tradition. You, I can say it, a tradition. Yeah, I feel like if you rent properties, right, you should pay, like, two months in advance in the beginning of the year. And then this way, by the time November, December comes, you don't got to worry about that December rent because you already done paid it. You get what I'm saying? Then you yeah, but that's, worry about that's, the Christmas That's financial uh, discussion. <laughs> that's on another show. Because, oh, that's a different show. And plus, you're talking to people that majority of who watching my show live in the Bronx. They don't save money. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just feel like landlords should just like, Well, that, that is a good idea, money. though, you know. Put up, um, give two months in advance or, or, or a, a month. month and a half and a yeah. month and a half. You know what I mean? And then or pay way, a little more every, every month for yeah. rent. And right. Then by December, you don't got to worry about, cause not even December, by January 1st, because come January 1st, New Year's, and then you got to pay that rent. Yeah. And most of, I know most of these landlords were tight this Yo, year. Cause, cause every Jan, <laughs> every January, you know? there's many of, uh, other people that said, I, I need an extra money. I was zunk. Christmas was last Christmas. Week. I just had to buy all these gifts. My second brother's uncle's cousin's sister's brother had a birthday. Like, had that got baby. nothing to do, you know, nothing to do with them. <laughs> there was Facebook babies came out, so I don't have your rent right now. Um, but, mad excuses. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it is true, but Valentine's, 
every holiday should stay, but Valentine's, I think, is one of the days that needs to go. And another one that needs to go is anniversary. One anniversary a year you need. You don't need the first day I kissed you, the first day I went out, the first day we locked eyes. Oh, remember the first day that I colored my hair? That's No, you don't, girls don't, y'all need, valid. no, one anniversary. That's it. I mean, the one anniversary is supposed to be the The first day you you went out or the first day you married. Once you get married, no, once you get married, the other anniversary is just a memory. No, but Like, remember, this is the day that we met. But that's, that's a, a memory. No, but that's an anniversary. No, that's if a you memory. Met somebody, and listen, if that wasn't true, then how come every freaking month or day Facebook is always trying to remind me because who I was a friends with last year. Three no, years and ago. what they say, a memory they put there. Facebook memory. They don't put Facebook anniversary. They put <laughs> Facebook <true>. memory. <laughs> this so guys, listen up. When your girl says. And you're married, legally married, and they come, remember, this is the day we got engaged. This is our anniversary. No, this is a memory. Look at the Facebook. <laughs> Look at Facebook, and it says Facebook memory, the first day we got so, engaged. <laughs> anniversary is only for your wedding or the first time you went out. So let me That's ask you it. a question, being that you're married. Why is it that people, they get engaged, and how, why don't people get married on the day they got engaged? I say that a lot of times, but then that's uh one of the things that you have to plan. So you can't just like, do you want? Oh well, I did, but we were already married. I guess <laughs> unless like unless. But you can't. You can't because once you get engaged. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna but say. But some maybe people some wait people a year for what? Year. For what? Because I'm telling you, y'all people want to spend ten, twenty thousand dollars in your wedding and then live in a two hundred dollar little house with your grandma. I, Does that make any damn sense? I feel like, listen, a, a woman can have the wedding, a beautiful wedding. She can have, you know, spend fifteen, twenty thousand dollars on two, that day. Two, three thousand. But you gotta have the right guests coming to your wedding. If you're gonna be spending this much money, you want to invite people that you know are not coming with cheap <laughs> gifts. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just spent twenty thousand dollars, yo. See? I should not have to buy a washer and dryer because one of my okay, friends but is gonna come. If you spend twenty thousand dollars, where are you gonna put the washer and dryer? Because now you live with mama. You should use that twenty thousand dollars and put down on a house. house. I agree, but what you if we have need. a house? You put down on a house. I you mean, know what I'm saying? If, but what if you know you twenty thousand dollars? Because I be seeing people wasting thirty, forty thousand, and then when you check where they live, you be like, "Girl, if you would have used that forty thousand, you would have not be living there." That's I what agree. I'm trying to say. I do, do agree. not spend more on the wedding unless than you can do on your future. Unless your guests are really good you know they they got good job that you know they give good gifts then go ahead because you know the, that the gifts is not gonna for, the, the gift is not gonna pay your rent no, and not gonna you buy ask, you a house you can ask for donations all right well we just do okay donations and hope that you like i want to get married i, I want to get married i, I want a forty thousand dollar wedding <laughs> i've got a go fund me right now and uh you and know it works no, nah. it's for you. When listen, some people put it listen. specifically in their cards, listen. like we're not accepting gifts, but give us cash. No, no. Some people do that now. Right. That's, listen, that's it, what I use would. your money for your investment. That's all I gotta say. When you use your money for your investment in your life, that is the best thing to do. A lot of people are wasting their money on all these um things, agree. having all these people come in and drinking your food, I mean your drinks, eating your food, and then they're going to talk crap about you any old way. And then you have the uh, bride maids that are looking ugly <laughs> because you want them to look uglier than you. And you wasted all this time. The photographer didn't even take a picture right. The video guy wasn't there. He was late. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on. But what about the weddings that were beautiful, that they, the photographer took beautiful pictures, and everybody had a great time, and the food was banging, and everybody was like, oh, my God. Oh, no, God, it was a beautiful. So my wedding cost me under 10000 and it was because it was the plane tickets, the food, the place to go. And I had everybody there, even though it was chaotic in the beginning because we, we had to get the right clothes. The clothes wasn't ready. The cake almost didn't get done, but that was in the beginning. But under that much money, we had everybody there. Plus it was a surprise gift, uh, wedding. It was a second wedding. Oh yeah, I see. It was a second wedding, a surprise wedding. Beautiful. So the wedding itself was under 2000, 3000. 
the tickets were more than the wedding. Yeah. And if the wedding was here, it would have been like two, three thousand. Matter of fact, it would probably have been less because I had a little, uh, my own, um, studio. So I probably would have done it there. I don't know. The whole point of the wedding is to get married and to be memorable with your friends and all that. Not go home and then be like, shit, yeah, now we got no dead. money for the bills. Yeah. I agree. I, I absolutely believe that when two people love each other, like it shouldn't, like a marriage shouldn't be the cause of your debt. You know what I mean? Right, like right. that's a lot of people are, but are doing also, that. Women, we shouldn't have to feel pressure to just get married in city hall because our man can't afford it. Like, well, there's, there's honestly, so many different ways that you can make, you know, a budget with a low. But how budget. you? How, I, I got a question for you. How are you going to get married if you don't get married in city hall? Well, you know what I mean. You got to get married in city to hall. Have the reception. In, oh, you know what I, I was going like to say because you have to get married in city hall yeah, first before you can go to a. Um, right. uh, Some people that's all they do, and then they don't have. Oh yeah, yeah, they, they don't have the wedding wedding, it. right? But you know what I mean. It's for the people that can't afford it because you don't got a lot of money, you shouldn't feel like you know you have to wait until you have all this money to have the wedding just of to your get dream. a wedding. Because there's so many if. If you just be creative and you think there's so many free places where you can go have a wedding that. Well, not only that, especially at Puerto Ricans, they, they make me laugh. They can have the blasts party with a theme under like four or five hundred. How, how much you spend? About four hundred. My tia bro, um, made the fries and my uncle, but when it comes to a wedding, they be like, nah, I don't want Tia to make the rice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a caterer. Yeah. I, you know why? It's because they want to show off that the wedding costs that much money. Bullcrap. I, my wedding, we had somebody cook the food for us. I, I shipped kind of the food? money. We had, um, a Filipino food and we had, um, American food and one tray of Spanish food. And it was made by one person. I gave her the money. What she did, she was like, I'll make it for you. Just buy all the food. Boom, boom, boom. Family came together. She was like, hey, Charles, what you need? I need a van. All right, I'll, don't pay the driver. Just pay the van. I'll drive. So you can find ways to yeah. do a if wedding you have if you have good point. people and a family member. So I agree with that. And you don't have to spend so much money. But if you want to be bougie and live with your grandmother after the wedding, then, you know, hire us. And but also, anyway. <laughs> and, and you know, churches. A lot of these churches, they just accept donations. There's not like, you shouldn't no, feel pressure. All church, all church supposed to give you a free wedding. You're supposed to just well, donate. Well, it depends because like if you're, if you're Catholic, if you try to get married in a Catholic church, you yeah. have to take some classes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You and they want to make sure, and, and yeah, they want to make you know. sure you're, you're, you're good for each other. You're, yeah, like you're good, there's a lot of people who are getting married just to get married, just to say they got married. And then there's a lot of people who get married because they're in love. Then there's a lot of people who get married because they need visas and stuff. Like, you just mm -hmm. never know what the way, and that's how you know, too, what kind of love. That's how you know what kind of love, is you there. know, is there. Is this a real marriage or a fake, fake marriage? Fake marriage, you know? Because, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, we, no, we, we, we a visa marriage. <laughs> 19, almost 19 years knowing each other. <laughs> All right. But you know what I mean? That's how you, that's how you, if yeah. you see the, 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 the wife come in and she looking like she's 12. And you're 50 something years and old. You're like yeah. in your Talking 70s. about, I'm taking a trip out of overseas <laughs> and you come back with a young wife. Um, I know two people and y'all watch me. I know y'all. That's why she left you with the kid. But anyway, that's not the whole thing. <laughs> As soon as her visa came, she went whoop and left his ass with the kid. You know, because you. she got pregnant by mistake, but. But you know what? A lot of that, these. That's not a here or there. A lot of these poor, poor countries have the mentality that, you know, I have to get married with somebody who has money. And sometimes it's not even that they're material, that they're gold diggers. They, in their mind, that's how they were raised. You gotta be married. See the other side of the green grass. A, a little better <laughs> off. Than how you was raised, and so, and I think that's a mistake a lot of these parents make, because it's like you want your child to to be to live mm -hmm. okay, but to what extremity are you Doing willing it. to send your child to go live with a strange man? Like this, yeah, is it, it happens. You know it happens. I mean? It happens. So I know it happens. It's but uh, we're, we're gonna cut it here. We're gonna take a commercial break. We're gonna come back. We're gonna talk about some more stuff. We'll be right back. proud to announce the new internet television station called LDM Network. And on this station, we're going to be bringing you live talk shows, music reviews, independent music artists, videos, 
sports, live events, and much, much more. Go to www.ldmnetwork.net for more information and all the shows that are going to be on this network. Again, that's www.ldmnetwork.net. And hey, if you are an independent artist or you love to hear independent music, go to our new radio station called LDM Radio. Go to www.ldmradio.com for more information on where to listen or submit your music. Hello, and we're back here at the LDM show. Uh, we were just talking behind the scenes. That's why I'm a little smile, smiles right now. Uh, the wedding thing really hit a lot of people out there. So keep your comments coming and, um, you know, check us out. So, uh, but again, I got, I am your karma here. She's going to be on the, uh, LDM network every Wednesday at 8 p.m. So check her out. Uh, House of Karma. House of Karma. That's, that's, everybody's going to be there. Just performing and showing their stuff. Good so, times, good vibes. Yep. So we check them out all the way from uh, jugglers all the way to singers. So I don't know. Any. <laughs> Just showing their skills uh, at the House of Karma. So if you're not talented, then you can't come to the house. That's all the, the whole thing to it. But uh, we are talking about um, a lot of things about the males and females due to Valentine's Day being this uh, uh, month. Uh, and I say this month because I don't know when you're watching me, so I don't want to confuse y'all people. <laughs> but being this month is Valentine's, I said before it needs to be erased because you're supposed to show your love all the way around. So we, you know, but we never even got to what was your worst Valentine's gift. We, we, we jumped into the, the, uh, the unmeaning of spending money on weddings when you can spend it on your future. Uh, you know, and I know some girls be like, that is my future. That's why I'm marrying him. No, your future is your benefit, you know, your, your money, your finance future and stuff like that. So don't spend what you don't have. Absolutely. So, but, uh, what was your worst if you remember? Oh my gosh. I will never forget this. This was many, 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 many years ago. Um, I went to Canada to go visit a friend and he and his mother, I say he, he was a guy, him and his mom thought it would be a great idea to go to the sex shop and buy me, like, thong candy, underwear, oh, and a little to... vibrator. Well, I was, like, mortified. Like, oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. Now, what, were you embarrassed because he went with his mother? Yes! Oh, because I was going to say, because girls... His mother picked it out. He was like, my mom picked it out. <laughs> I'm like, Oh, hell! No. Yo! <laughs> You don't say that your mom picked so it out. So you know you what ended say, up happening? I, I ended up hanging out with his mom the whole time. Oh, oh you picked I, that I, out for me, girl. Let's go I went left field with that. I went left field with that because listen, we went to the club. We was dancing. We was in Jamaican <laughs> in the Jamaican club dancing reggae and stuff. You see, you see, you see when, when you said that, my 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 male mind went somewhere else. No, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> The mom was old. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, since, made she, it worse. since she brought it for me, me and her try to use yeah, it then. Nah, you know, well, no. you know. And I left him for her. No. <laughs> I definitely left him to no, go that, hang that, out yeah, with her, that and is. her and her homegirl. Because it's like, it's yeah. awkward. It's weird. It's like, dude, what would you think? What made yeah. you think that? I know I'm a, you know what I mean? I know that I'm, you know. But <laughs> your mama don't need to know that. I was just going to say, like, <laughs> oh, you if you didn't have, you didn't even have to say that your mom picked it out because it would have been great. Okay. But then, yeah. and then, no, the worst part was coming back into the United States when they got to check your stuff. What is this? No, it was. It, you you could have at least took the batteries out. <laughs> it was more so like, oh, so did you have a good, good time? time? Oh my God. I was like, yeah. No, no. I and the Canada time. people are so polite. You know, like. They are. <laughs> this is a nice color. It goes with you. It goes with you, the color. <laughs> they're all nice about it oh the like, panties i remember the days i had these you know i was mortified i was like yo i never went back <laughs> Put it like that. you kind of liked it though because you kept it yeah. i mean the candy the, i ate the candy because yeah. i don't care oh, if my it's God. underwear so what i'm not when it comes to candy i'm not letting that go wait i ate that but like it was just like you know wait you, you ate it on the way <laughs> You, you were not on like, the Greyhound on the, on the way back. I you were on the Greyhound. I was, I was doing, yeah, the penis uh, lollipop. I can't believe this guy. This I can't believe this guy <laughs> let his mom order this for me. Like, yeah. but, uh, uh, 
<laughs> Shout out to uh, Scott Dow who uh comment on that that post and said the worst Valentine's gift he had is that she broke up with him on Valentine's Aww. Day. That was that's bad. What that's about bad. you? Did you get a I don't remember because me and Valentine's we were never really friends. Um I, so I don't never I never really got a, a gift for Valentine's because I always used to tell the person don't buy me no gift. Right. Especially I'm a hard person to buy a gift for. Not because of the uh the money or stuff like that. It's just because I look at the gift and I'm like Okay, so you gave me gloves. But it's a thought that count where well, bet you didn't think right. No, you know. I'm not saying I don't <laughs> Give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm one of those especially if you're my you're my mate and you buy me expensive stuff, I'm like, how much this cost? Thirty you know we could have brought groceries with this thirty dollars. That's the type that's of person how, I am. So that's, that's why I really don't like gifts. But through the whole um Valentine's, I never really, the only gifts I got was from my kids. I did a little writing hard. I and think stuff. those are the best ones, though, because they're pure. Your kids, they work so hard in school to make this for you, and then they give it to you, and you got to hang it up on the refrigerator. Or yeah, yeah. But like, worst gifts, I honestly, no, nah, I don't. Never had one because I really never had really gifts. I, I, but I've seen people with their worst gifts and they were talking crap about it, you know? It's like one of my friends, uh, he had a million dollar effect girl, which a million dollar effect girl meaning that they don't, uh, care for the money. They just worrying about who the girl is and they always looking. She gave him a teddy bear. The witch said, Oh wow. And that's the biggest one they had right in front of all the guys. I was like, Oh snap. Gave her a chocolate, uh, heart. With the thing, the teddy bear was holding the chocolate heart, and she said, "Oh, you got the chocolate heart there. It's probably melting. Let me see. Yep, what I told you. Like, Dude, yo, I was like, okay. At least to know that they didn't even last a week after that. But you Makes know, sense. see, all right, fellas, if you let's say you got your last, you're down to your last five dollars, and don't you spend go, it, and you, and you decide." <laughs> That you want to get, you want to go to Family Dollar and get your girl a little dollar heart chocolate and a little small teddy bear. And if she does not appreciate that, dump her. Because at the end of the day, it's the thought that counts and it's the effort that you made. Somebody could have a twenty, a twenty five thousand dollar freaking teddy bear with rings and all that stuff. And yeah, that's wonderful. But if you don't have the means to get it, like. You can't get upset. You have to be happy with what you get. You Listen, know what I mean? and then be happy for what the guy get. Because if he only had five dollars now, exactly. that means he was broke when you met him. So don't get mad. Exactly. You so know what I'm saying? You already know. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and you know a week in advance. Because I hate when people were like, like Christmas, Christmas, or any holidays, like a day or two. They'd be like, Yeah, I ain't gonna do nothing because this guy didn't have no money. Um, did he have money a couple weeks ago? No. So then you already knew this was not gonna happen. So that's why I said Valentine's is too much pressure. I mean, if you don't got money to to buy your significant other something, you can always cook them a home nice. You know, make it romantic. You don't even got to spend money. I know. Make a cake, cut it into a heart, put the frosting on it, and then you give it to her. And if she says, oh, you couldn't go buy a cake, that's when you got to leave them. Yeah, that's that's when you, you gotta leave You don't leave need them. that type of negativity in your life. You want people that's gonna lift you up. You know? But again, if you do that all year round, when you do something for Valentine's, they're not even gonna be getting mad because they're gonna be like, "Oh, again, he sent me another gift." Because you're always giving her something exactly. anyway. Exactly, it's the little thing. Don't don't wait till Valentine's. Listen, so. I thought today was Valentine's Day. My man came with a fruit parfait. I wanted that so bad. He's like, "Here you go." Mm-hmm. I was like, as Little kid in a freaking candy shop. I was happy with it, and yep. it's just the point that he remembered that I said I want. I feel like I feel like having right. a female right. face. Listen today. up, listen up. We're we gonna we're gonna make a deal with all y'all females out there. Y'all got a choice. Y'all want gifts here and there all the year round, or you want Valentine gift. You only got to pick one. Now let's see what you're gonna pick. Let's see now what you want to pick. If you want to pick Valentine, then guess what? I won't surprise you through the whole year. And then I give you something for Valentine's. So you got to pick one. Do you want certain gifts? Why do you have to choose? No, you got to choose. You can't have both ways. Yeah, why we got to choose? You got to choose <laughs> getting special gifts all the year round, like, you know, here and there, not when you want, when we feel it and when we want, or Valentine's. Comment below. I want to see how many of y'all are going to still want Valentine's then. You know what I'm saying? Well, tough well, the one, the one, 
the one that that has different guys or the or the guys that have different girls all year round, they're gonna pick Valentine because they don't know who they have on <laughs> Valentine's anyway. So, <laughs> but uh, that's for the Motu um dating people, you know, uh, because that's a new word. Now it's just called dating. I, don't put multiple dating in front of my. If I'm dating, I don't want to hear I'm multiple dating. I just want to know I'm dating because it I sounds feel, like I'm a slut. I feel like after a certain age, um. You know, like, if a man is in his 50s or whatever, like, he shouldn't be no, dating. dating, like, a whole bunch of different women. Because it's like, what if you, I'm only saying this because of the well, conversation well, earlier. Well, if, if he only had that one woman his whole life, and then he finally got divorced, he ain't going to know what other type well, of women he likes. So yeah. he has to multiple But my dating. thing is, like, okay, but well, what if, like, he got divorced, and, okay, you're single now. But how is a how are you gonna attract the right female if you're entertaining all these other women and you're old well, already? Like you. Well, that's be why it's called one, dating. One at a time. That's why it's called dating. When when you go into the supermarket, right, and you try one food, and you don't, you yeah, it's all right. Don't you go into the supermarket and try a different one or I mean, a different it's just brand? A and a whole exactly. Food there. Exactly. But I, but <laughs> my thing is like, <laughs> is my it? thing is you gotta like, find you know, out what you like. But after you a certain age, you should already know what you but like. But if he only had you know? one girl, if he only had one girl his whole life, he don't know. But now, if he was mo- uh, dating like crazy back when he was young, then he should know the type of girl he likes. Okay, so. But anyway, how, how long do you date then? How long do you date if you're in your Listen, 50s before you settle down? 30 days. That's it. You give them 30 days. It's like a, uh, uh, no, no, it's like probation in a job. You give them 30 days. No, no. 30, that's for, that's for benefits. 90 days is probation. Six months. <laughs> I mean, in a job. Six months probation and dating is for, okay, do you want to stay in my house for a couple married? weekends? Do, you know what I'm saying? Gonna, why? Wait, wait. Three months. I'm confused. <laughs> three months probation is when, okay, now I can take you to my family. But 30 days is all you need to know if, you're going to make it to the three months. Don't be wasting your time 30, you think because 30 days, 30 days is enough time to tell if 30 a person days. is serious. Yep. Or and then throw on, throw on so many different things like, oh, damn, I got no money today. I wanted to okay, see what happens. So, so, all right. So because this is, I had a conversation with somebody earlier about a oh, situation we, 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 like this. Oh, we only got one minute. Ooh. You all tell me we're all late. Uh, I guess we're going to have to hold that conversation. We're going to have to hold that conversation. It's the end of the show, right? <laughs> But uh, I am your karma. Thank you uh, for welcome. being here today. Thank you for having and, me. And you guys keep up the comments. We'll probably have her uh, on my Speak Out uh, show one day. And we're going to be talking about this. So you guys can listen in. But this is the LDM show. And we'll see you next week. Bye.